Righto, Taliota champs, yes, the Apple event is here. And Apple are going to drop this bomb right here, the Apple Studio. And will this kill the PC? Let's discuss. And if you have a look at the Apple event, it's called peak performance. It has to be something to do with an Apple Silicon Beast CPU. Peak performance, baby, that's what we're talking about. And while we talk about this, you can look at some of my Apple M1 Max porn from my MacBook Pro 16 and 14 review, which you should totally check out and make sure you do subscribe because I will get it. Whatever this Apple product is, I will be getting it in. Wolf. So, according to Luke Miami, an Apple leaker, that sounds wrong. Leaker sounds like the nickname for an excited teenage boy. But anyway, according to Luke, Apple are releasing this Apple Studio desktop or is it a gaming console? Who freaking knows? I'll leave a link in the description to his video. But this is what it looks like. Yeah, it looks like a Mac Mini, but taller, right? Now, is this fake? Is this a troll? Well, I don't know, but let's discuss what would go in it based on what we know from Apple Silicon, how it will perform, and will it kill the PC? Well, I'll answer the will it kill the PC thing. Yeah, nah, it ain't killing no PC master race. It doesn't have the RGB. It doesn't have the gaming support. So I think the PC is safe as long as it is the premier gaming experience. And uh, i got to tell you, if you have a kid, you will know. My kid has a cousin. I have nieces and nephews. All the young people, we're talking now, teenagers to early 20s, they could not give a stuff about the Mac. That is the truth. They just want the RGB, ultimate streaming gaming PC setup. That's what they want. They watch Twitch. They watch the streamers. They love PC gaming or even console as well, but they don't care about the Mac. So whatever this is, it's not going to kill the PC, but it may have just killed performance PCs for content creators, assuming it is a PC. They're supposedly releasing a monitor as well. I'm actually more interested in QD OLED or, you know, the C2 LGs. But getting back to this Mac Studio, given the size of it, it's got to house some serious hardware in there. Is it a gaming console? I don't think so. I don't think that's the way Apple's going. It's probably a beast Mac. And I think it's too big to run an M1 Max. I might be wrong here. Maybe it's the M1 Ultra. Maybe it's the M2. But I'm thinking it's a scaled up version of the M1 Max. You can imagine how these scale, these CPUs, these Apple Silicon dies. You can imagine this might be two M1 Maxes glued together, stitched together, whatever you want to say, with super fast fabric in between them. Double in the memory bandwidth, double in the GPU cores to 64 GPU cores, and you can imagine that would be using, you know, 150 watts on the GPU now. Now we're talking about a Mac that could probably blow away an RTX 3080, or at least match it in raw power. We already know the M1 Max MacBook Pro 16 can actually beat an RTX 30 desktop in stuff it's optimized for, but this could truly be a Mac that has the actual raw performance of an RTX 30 desktop with the latest Intel 12900K or or a 5950X AMD CPU. Yeah, looking at the size of that, I think that's the sort of performance you can get. Of course, this is all speculation, but imagine it goes one step further. Imagine the CPU scales to something along the lines of four M1 Maxes stitched together. Then we're talking, you know, 128, 256 gigabytes of RAM, 128 GPU cores. I mean, the mind boggles here, but I mean, I'm not going to get too excited. Please let me know down there in the comments what you think. I cannot wait to find out if this is real. I will have a video after the event, and I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho.